boys and girls, I have a review for you. This little bad boy. Kuwait has sent me this meter. I'm going to show you its features and, you know, we'll go through it together. Enjoy. Hey guys and girls, we're just going to do a little review of this Kuwait KM601 multimeter. It's a fancy little thing, little smartphone sort of form factor. I quite like it. Um, we're just going to do a few tests. It'll just be a quick little video. I'm just showing you what the thing can do. So first up, just got the probes here. I've got a lead. So um, just do a basic voltage test, AC. So this is on its automatic function. So it's detecting, you know, what voltage it is. I think it does voltage resistance continuity all in, all in one, one setting. Okay, so I've just got 240. That's, that's great. Right, I've got my little lead lenser magnetic charger here, so we can see it's still on auto. Right, I'm on the wrong terminals. There we go, we've autoed to 5 volts, which is the output of this particular unit. Also, nice to see that we've got the um, temperature here. Frigid. All right, for Australia at least. Right. Um, so we can also just, you know, we've got continuity. All right. Not quite as snappy as the fluke, mate, but when you're one tenth the purchasing price, it's not too bad. So we'll just change it to um, Bell. That's much, much better response. Doesn't quite give you the, but it's pretty good. It's got a little light there to let you know that you got continuity, which is nice. All right, so the rest of the functions, as a Sparky, I'm typically not gonna use much more than this, but we'll just go through them for giggles and shits. All right, so we've got a diode here. This is a little awkward to do. But it's lighting up, as you can see. It's a little bit awkward for me to hold. 0.78 volts to get that little guy going, which is just great. I've also got a big chunky capacitor that I ripped off a, uh, I think this was off a treadmill. Uh, so let's go to capacitance. Now I've seen on a one or two reviews of this is the capacitance reading is a little bit laggy. Yeah, there we go. So let's just give that a count for a sec. One, two, three, four, about five seconds. It's not too bad. Now on the nameplate, this is a 68. Ooh, I don't know if I want to say it. Nanofarad? I think it's that. I think that's nanofarad. I'll be corrected if not. doing the job look if you need a capacitance reading and it's a couple of seconds I mean that's not a huge issue now millivolts Hertz I don't have too much of a use for it does have a non-contact voltage detector setting which we'll put that on and I've got the lead here which is still plugged in that's a little handy feature I guess now also, as a Sparky, if I need a um, a reading, an amperage reading, I'm going to go for the clamp meter 100% of the time. So um, milliamps, yes and no. In, in my field, I'm primarily a commercial Sparky. With a, I dabble in industrial. Uh, I'm not going to use that too much. So, I mean, look, it's not a bad little meter. I... I um, It'll fit in your pocket. The leads could be a little bit better, but I mean, I think you're only paying about 60 Australian dollars for this little unit. And um, mate, I'll tell you, it's not a bad little meter.
the display is pretty good. Um, obviously, it's got its own backlight, really. I mean, that's it's a lit-up display, so you don't really need a dark. It does have a thermocouple as well, for if you did need to test a um, an accurate temperature of something. Again, I'm not going to use that. Um, I've got a little in infrared thermometer if I need that sort of thing. But yeah, I mean, no complaints. I uh, it's got a little torch. Oh, I didn't even know. Oh yeah, look at that. Ha. All right. Cool. Well, that's a handy little thing. Look, I um, I'm going to give this to one of my apprentices. Um, he doesn't have a meter at the moment, and this will uh, get him by before he probably buys himself a you know a full premium grade one one day. But uh, this this should definitely get him by using your um, uh, correct safe isolating procedure. This meter is just as good as any other tool. So um, yeah, I'm sure he'll get some use out of it and I'm sure he'll like receiving it. <laughs> Thank you, Queets, for sending me this meter, and um, I'll be happy to have a look at any more products you have in the future. I quite like it. Cheers, guys. There is one little thing that I do want to add before I uh, bug off. Uh, the It does have Category 4 uh, tips, so obviously they go on the end of your probes. Like so. Yeah. And just for testing. All right. That went on all right before, but they go on and just uh, protect the end of your probe so you don't, you're not shorting out. You're testing here and here and you're not going to short out on your leads. So it's just another nice little thing. I, I don't think I showed that earlier. So, yeah. That's the meter, boys. Dirty fingerprints, but yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. That. Check out that moose knuckle, bro. Yes. <laughs> he's like, all right, Bully, step forward. That's for you, mate. Step forward, Steve, step forward. Give us a pretty smile. <laughs> <laughs>